I'm going to tell you why you should consider buying a Ram 2500 diesel. Right now what I'm showing you is a 2021 Ram 2500 Laramie Longhorn or Longhorn Edition Cummins diesel engine. This truck is loaded. It has every single option you could get on a Ram 2500 back in 2021. I actually traded this truck in. It has like 6,000 miles on it. Stupid low miles for the year. Basically, if you're buying a diesel truck, you're gonna say you're, you're basically buying a Ram, you're buying a Ford, you're buying a GM. If you want a 2500, 3500 diesel to tow, to pull with, you wanna get top of the line loaded up, that's what you're gonna buy, right? The Rams have some different options, different equipment than what you're gonna get in a GM or a Ford. And at the end of the day, like back, you know, I, I would say years ago, probably one of the arguments with the Rams is that they weren't as reliable, maybe not as quality as a GM or a Ford product. Now though, I'll be honest, I think the plane feels pretty level. I think that they all make a really nice truck and it's ultimately up to you driving it, which one you like better. What do you prefer? What, are the, what preferences do you have in drive and feel and in the amenities inside the truck? The Rams, and probably one of the biggest differences or one of the biggest things that you can get in a Ram diesel truck that you can't get in a Ford or a GM is that Rams come with air suspension in the rear. That's an option. So you can actually get adjustable air suspension in the rear of these trucks. And you can do it in the 1500s as well, but on a 2500 truck, you're not getting that in a GM or a Ford. So I'm gonna show you this truck, see what you guys think. You tell me, what do you prefer? Are you a Ram guy? Are you GM? Are you Ford? I sell them all. I'm kind of indifferent. I don't have, you know, I, what it boils down to me is which one I like to drive the best. If I jump in a truck, do I like the feel of it as a nice truck? and there's a ton of good options. Ram 2500 diesel, this particular truck, you're gonna have your HID headlights. Um, you can get, this one just has your regular halogen fog lights, you don't have the HIDs, but you're getting your front sensors. In the Longhorn, you're getting painted to match bumpers. That's something that, you know, you're getting the chrome grill, but painted to match bumpers, and you can see painted to match fender flares. You, get, you have a little bit of chrome, but that's the look you're gonna get with this Longhorn, okay? And I believe, yep, you got your front camera, you have, you know, again, this is gonna come with all with a bunch of different cameras. Um, and we get inside the truck, I can show you that, how all that works. But again, for trailering, for uh, parking, all that stuff, you're getting all the extra cameras. We go around the side of this truck and you can see here, this is your Longhorn standard wheel. It's, got, it's like a alloy with a black finish to it or a black metallic kind of, like a gray black metallic. That's your standard tire, the Firestone Transforce. They suck, I would never buy that tire. That's what comes factory with the truck. First thing I would do is be changing out those tires because they are terrible. Like this truck literally has 6,000 miles on it and the tires look used. Like it's stupid, right? But anyhow, that's that's what that's the standard tire on this truck. Cummins diesel engine. I think this engine in 21 was doing like 380 horsepower. Pound foot of torque, I think it was around 850. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think that's roughly where they were. And again, that's 21, these newer ones, every, all the newer trucks, 2023s, 2024s, they bumped that up significantly. But back in 2021, this was, that was pretty standard. That's about where, where everything was. So we go around here, you're, uh, you're gonna have cameras. You can see here, you're gonna have your, this is all for your 360 camera in the truck, but you got your camera under the mirror there. Um, these mirrors also, and I like you're gonna have your telescoping fold and everything, but they also do flip up like that. Kind of a neat option if you're trailering, gives you that bigger look. And if you're not trailering, you put those down, keeps it clean. So we go along, you see here, you got your Longhorn Limited, Longhorn Limited Edition, right? You got your custom badging there. If we open this up, you can see you got the power running boards. Okay, that did not last very long. So you got power running boards on the truck. That's also a standard option on a Longhorn or a Limited Ram 2500. You get your chrome around the doors, or right underneath the windows, I should say. Chrome door handles, but it's like a chrome and a painted door handle. Kind of a cool look. It's their red trico paint. I, don't, I think they might call it Delmon is it Delmonico crystal or something red, like a cherry red. Cool looking, cool looking color there. But you can see here, if you look into the rear, this is, I mean, it's got the air suspension. You can kind of, you can see it if you look underneath there. But again, that air suspension on the back of a 2500 is unique to only Ram. Pretty sweet option, right? So it'll automatic leveling, and you can set that, but you know, if you're trailering something, again, all of that's gonna adjust depending on what you're hauling. So you're not gonna have your front end sticking up in the air. And to be honest, that's something you see a lot of times with Ford trucks. The front ends are sticking way up in the air, 
even if they're rated to pull the thing, you're, you see that, that difference. Where the Ram, it's gonna keep that pretty level, which to be honest, I like that. There's nothing worse than driving a truck, pulling a camper, and it looks like you're, you got your truck overloaded when it, can, when it has plenty of, plenty of power and ump to pull it. Anyhow, cool option there. Painted to match flares here, you can see that. Go around to the back of the truck. You can see, so you got your standard backup camera. The sensors on these are a little bit different. It's kind of interesting, but they put this kind of underneath the bumper, um, where most of like your Ford and GM trucks, the sensors would be in the middle of the bumper. I don't know if that was engineered that way, maybe to kind of catch stuff that's, that, that way you're not gonna actually go over top of something. Kind of a neat thing there. But this truck, you're gonna get your standard spray and bed liner. This has your fifth wheel and gooseneck prep package built into the truck. And you can see, if you go here to the side, you got your standard, your hookups are already here, already built in. You got a big plug in there. What is this, a 400 watt plug in? That's actually a freaking, yeah, that's the, that's the big boy there. But all that's built in. That is all part of your prep package. Go here, so you walk around the side of the truck and you can see same thing on this side. Painted to match, clean look. Chrome into the door handles, a little bit of chrome in the mirror. All right guys, I'll show you the inside of this truck. Inside of the 2021 Ram 2500 Longhorn Limited. The interior on these trucks are sick. And, you know, personally, I love the brown. Back in the day, the, I think they had like a reddish brown, which I was never a fan of, and I had like a reddish hue to it. This brown, I love it. Like, I think it's a sweet looking truck. You can see you got wood. This is actually like a wood grain on the steering wheel built in, which is pretty freaking sweet. So this is like the inside of these trucks, you're getting a lot of that wood grain look. Like this is all like a wood grain type stuff. You're getting your leather trim. You have a huge freaking screen. That's standard in a loaded out Ram truck in a lower, lower trim levels, it'd be an optional screen. I'll start this thing up. You're gonna have heated and cooled leather seats. You're gonna have a heated steering wheel. You're gonna have your all your blind spot. And actually, if I go into here, that's what I was gonna do. I go into your cameras, you can see here, you're gonna have all your different camera views. So you have your diesel exhaust brake, and you can see here you have alternate trailer height. So you can actually adjust this back end depending on where your trailer, where your trailer's at, right? You can raise or lower it with that adjustable air, air suspension. You got your full sunroof, you got the power sliding rear window in this truck, center console, you got like a two-part center console. Okay, and the only thing that's kind of sweet on a ramp truck, you can actually slide this, this whole centerpiece, you can actually, you could put something in the hole, like it literally is all open up and this thing slides back and forth. Again, unique on a Ram, this is one of the things they do and it's awesome, honestly. Your phone charger is right here in the front. Again, a unique Ram option. I'll kind of show you this, this is kind of cool. Like, you stick, you stick it down in there. Ram, the one thing I like about this is your phone's not going anywhere, right? Like Ford and GM. GM's is under the center console. Ford's though, freaking falls back and forth all the time. I can't stand it. I'm driving a Ford truck right now and it's doing it, it does it all the time. This actually locks it in, which I kind of, it's, it's a cool, good design there. You got four high, four low, two wheel drive, automatic headlights. You got your memory seats, power mirrors. But again, Longhorn edition, you got the brown leather, black on the side perforated there and he's got like kind of like a alligator skin pattern here in the seat too so pretty cool all right i'll show you the back of this truck like i was saying earlier ram is like this so so let's just do a comparison here this is a 2021 okay they have rear air vents rear heated seats the gm trucks in a 2500 and 2021 you did not have rear air vents i don't believe I think Ram, I'm not sure when it actually switched. Maybe you did in 2021, but that was, Ram was one of the first ones to do it. And I think Ford did it next and then GM. And the other thing, like you have heated seats, you can see here, you could have had optional cooled seats. This guy didn't order it with it. There's actually a, a blank spot here for him, but you can get cooled seats, air conditioned seats in the back of a Ram, okay? Ford and GM do not offer that. I don't know why, but that was always one of the things I wondered. I'm like, that's freaking sweet. You know, if I'm sitting in the back of a truck, I want cold seats too, not just the guy in the front. So again, cool option there. Um, you got your standard, you got your phone chargers there. You got your another regular plug-in in the back. This flips down, cup holders in there. And then this all flips up. So another Ram only feature, okay? This in the pack here actually folds out. And you have like, this gives you that storage gives you flat storage the whole way across because they don't give you, um, you know, your floor is not flat. You still have the, like the hump in the middle here. 
and you have all this jazz, so you're not, you're not actually gaining, you don't have all that space, but you do when you flip these down. Again, kind of a cool option there, RAM only option. All right guys, I'll show you under the hood of this bad boy. Let's see what this uh, Cummins diesel looks like. You really can't see too much, but you can see you got the Cummins diesel, and like most of these trucks, you really can't work on them by yourself. You're taking this thing to a RAM dealer, but always a great engine. This Cummins diesel has been Ram staple engine, diesel engine for years. They're awesome. And they really like this. The, the Cummins diesel paired with the Azen transmission is Ram's like, that's the best combo you can get. And honestly, that's the, you know, guys would always say, if you could pair the Cummins diesel with the Allison transmission in a GM, that was like, back in the day, that's what they'd say was that would be the best combo. I think Ram then went with the Azen transmission. I'm not sure who even, where that came from, but that was then a really good, that's a really good combo on these trucks. So, all right guys, you tell me, do you like the Rams? You like the GMs, the Fords? What do you prefer? Comment in there. Be sure to hit subscribe to the channel for more content, more info, and check this truck out for sale at markmartinmotors.com.